the west time. But. Okay, so, so let's try this um, problem. It says uh, calculate the pH of a buffer that is point, or 0 0.2 molar in formic acid and 0 0.15 molar in sodium formate. And then it gives you the Ka for formic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. So um, I wrote out the formulas for formic acid and sodium formate for you all. Um, you could actually do a nice table for this one like I've showed you in the past um, and some of you have done on this one. But actually when you have the conjugate acid and conjugate base of the same thing, right? So the, the pair. You can, um, if you're looking for the pH, you can use something that's called the Henderson Hasselbalch equation. Do you remember doing that? Okay, so the Henderson Hasselbalch equation, do you guys remember what the equation is? Yes. Uh, yeah. pH equals pKa plus the log of A minus concentration over HA concentration. Okay, so which one's A minus and which one's HA? And so the conjugate base is HA, okay? The conjugate, or A minus, the conjugate acid is HA, okay? So, um, well, we've got the concentration of those in molarity, but we don't have the pKa, right? So how do we do the pKa? Remember the pKa is the negative log of the Ka, like that. So let's figure out what that is. So it's going to be negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. So it should be like 3.7 or we have the concentration of A minus and we have the concentration of HA, right? So it's just a plug and check problem. So it's a lot easier than doing a whole ice table, right? So 3.74 plus the log of 0.15 divided by 0.20. actually have done this with a ice table, you know, using the weak acid um, ice table, but uh, Henderson Hasselbach kind of makes it a little easier. So. Okay? Can we kill it or are there any questions? No, we're good.